The small village of Starohnatyevka is located some 60 kilometers to the south of Donetsk. The village is of tactical importance to Russia-backed militants. Its capture would turn it into a launching ground for further attacks on strategic targets including Volnovakha and the coastal city of Mariupol. Currently, the village is controlled by Ukrainian forces and for more than a week now, it has been under heavy shelling. This is the result of the most recent shelling of the frontline village of Starohnatyevka. Most of the shells fell on the outskirts of the village, but one hit this house directly. Fortunately, it was uninhabited. The Ukrainian military say their positions are being shelled with artillery, grad rockets and 120 mm caliber rockets, the latter prohibited under the Minsk ceasefire agreement. But for the locals here, the truce doesn't seem to exist. What kind of truce is that? You call it a truce? I don't think so. It's not a truce, it's real hell. This doesn't look like a truce. Lyudmila is a shopkeeper in a local store. She says a lot of people fled the village, and those who stayed live as if in nightmare. We don't sleep at night. A lot of people fled, and during the day we're just sitting and shivering like mice. We're living like mice. Minsk, the capital of Belarus, is far, far away from this small Ukrainian village in Donetsk region. So is the latest peace agreement, which was signed there almost six months ago. And the locals here on the ground know that fact far too well. This is Volodymyr Sulhub, Serhii Kiselyov and Serhii Hirchuk reporting from Donetsk region for Ukraine Today.